Welcome to USB Disk by IMASART. This video will show you the important features of your new file viewer in Manager. After launching the app, you are presented with the home screen. It shows you the list of locations you can access. Local Files contains the files stored on your iOS device. Link to Photos is the list of photos and videos in the Photos app. Then you have items which let you access cloud services like Dropbox and Google Drive. The first time you access these, you have to link your account to USB disk. To do so, enter a username, then press Link Account. On the web page it appears, enter your password, and sign in to grant access to your account. Finally, press Done. In case you need to relink an account, press Edit on top of the home screen, then select the account in the list. As you have noticed, no matter which location you access, you will be presented with a list of files and folders. Press on a folder to see its content. Press on a file to display it. While viewing a file, swipe left or right to navigate between files in the current folder. Swiping up will not only scroll the content of the file, but will also hide the toolbars on top and bottom of the screen. To make them reappear, tap the top of the screen or scroll up rapidly. To scroll down one page, tap the bottom of the screen. You can use USB disk to annotate PDF files and edit text files. To start modifying a file, press the button on the top right corner of the viewer. Then press Edit. As you can see, the user interface now displays buttons related to editing. Use these to modify the file. Once you are finished, press Done. Now consider you want to quickly view another file, then come back to this one. The best way to do this is to use tabs. Press the bottom right button, then press plus. Navigate to the file you want to consult. When you are finished, open the list of tabs and select the tab you want to go back to. Note that this will let you play an audio file in one tab while viewing files in another tab. On the iPad, you can also display two files at once. Open the settings, scroll down, change the layout to Double Viewer, press Save, and navigate to the second file you want to display. Let's go back to the list of files. To delete a file, swipe your finger on it, going from right to left. Then press Delete. USB Disk lets you organize your files and folders. To create a folder, press Plus, then press Create Folder. Enter a name for the folder, then press Done. To move files to this new folder, press Edit. Select the files you want to move by tapping them, then press on the Cut button. You will notice that the Paste button now indicates the number of files in the clipboard, two in this case. To finish moving the files, open the folder and press the Paste button. Note that the Paste button will also paste content copied in other apps. Let's now consider how to transfer files to USB disk. One of the easiest ways is to use the Open In feature found in other apps. As an example, we'll transfer an email attachment to USB disk. Launch the Mail app and open an email with an attachment. Press on the attachment to display it. 
then press on the upper right button. A list of apps and actions will appear. Press on USB Disks icon. As you can see, USB Disk will open and ask you where you want to save the attachment. Browse to a specific folder and press Choose. You can also transfer files from and to a computer using iTunes. To do so, open iTunes and connect your iOS device to your computer. Under the search field, a button will appear. It is labeled iPhone, iPad, iPod, or Devices. Press on this button. Press on the Apps tab, then scroll down to the File Sharing section. Select USB disk in the list, and the file stored in the app will appear on the right. You can drag and drop files in this list to transfer them. You can also use the Add and Save To buttons if you prefer. Please note that iTunes will not let you upload folders to USB Disk. To transfer folders to USB Disk Pro, connect to it using the Mac Finder or Windows File Explorer. On a Mac, open the Finder, then open the Go menu and click on Connect to Server. Enter the address found at the bottom of USB Disk's home screen and press Connect. If you set up a username and password in USB Disk, enter them. To finish, press Connect. On Windows, go to the desktop and open the File Explorer. In the Navigation pane, make a right-click on Network and select Map Network Drive. Enter the address found at the bottom of USB Disk's home screen. Make sure the Reconnect at Logon option is unselected and press Finish. No matter which operating system you are using, you can now drag and drop files and folders to USB Disk. USB Disk can prevent unauthorized access to your files. Open the settings, scroll down, and press on Protected Files Lock Code. Enter a code, confirm it, and press Save. You will now need to enter the code when you access a protected file or folder. Protected items have a small lock on their icon. By default, every file you place in the protected folder is protected. You can also open the details for a specific file by pressing Edit, then pressing on the blue button next to the file, and activate the protection. We also recommend you lock your device with a passcode. To do so, Open the Settings application, navigate to General, press Passcode Lock, then turn Passcode on, and enter a passcode. When your device is locked, it is not possible to copy protected files using iTunes. This concludes the tutorial. Don't hesitate to send us your questions and suggestions. Thank you for watching.